Hey guys, today we're going to start talking about fractions, and I know you guys have talked a lot about them, so we're just going to kind of do a quick review, and then you guys can go ahead and get started on your workbook page. So just to review really fast, fractions are the equal size pieces that make up a whole shape or a whole object. So for example, this is my whole sheet of paper. If I fold it in half, I have two equal size pieces that make up the whole shape. So this one piece is one of two pieces that make up this whole. So I have one out of the two pieces showing. I flip it over. I have one, whoop, one of the two pieces showing. And if I put these one half and one half together, I make up the whole shape. So that's just a quick little mini fraction review. But we don't always see them on paper, or we don't always see them as shapes. Sometimes we see them on number lines, and that's what I want to get to today. So fractions on a number line. I have over here three equal size number lines. This is really similar to something you guys did back in January. And I just kind of wanted to go through it again because I think it's a really important piece to fractions. And we're going to label our fractions on a number line. We're not doing all of them today. We'll do some today. We'll do some tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to start with one half. So one half is halfway between the whole. You have two equal size pieces. So here's my one whole. And I'm going to label it. Here's my zero. This is where I start. Over here is where I end. I need to figure out two equal size pieces. So I need to look for, in this case, the middle. So I'm going to say my middle is probably about right here. Maybe not exact. So this little piece right here is my halfway point. Because here's one piece. Here's two pieces. So and my one is my numerator. That's how many pieces I'm looking at. I'm looking at this one piece. My two is my denominator because I have two pieces to get to the one. So this fraction is going to be one half. If I keep going, I can also label this one whole as a fraction. Instead of just one piece I'm looking at, I'm looking at one, two pieces out of my two possible pieces. So I have two halves. This one I want to break up into fourths. So again, I'm going to label my zero. I'm going to label my one. And when I do fourths, I like to start in the middle. I like to find that halfway point, but I know I have to have four equal size pieces. So here's how I do it. I find the halfway point to get my two pieces. And then I kind of go halfway in between that and halfway in between that to get my four equal size pieces. So I have one, two, three, four pieces. And when I label them, now instead of having a two on the bottom as my denominator, I'm going to have a four on the bottom. So this first piece from the zero to this first line is going to be one fourth. My next jump from the zero is going to be one two, two fourths. Now we have three fourths. And then I can do four fourths. Last one I want to do is eighths. I'm going to do the zeros and the ones, and then I'm going to split it in half again. So there's my zero. There's my one. And here's my halfway. But this time, instead of splitting it up into four equal size pieces, I need to split it up into eight equal size pieces. So I'm going to kind of take what I've done for my fourths and line these guys up too. Because now I know I have four equal size pieces, and I can split those pieces now in half. So I'll do this, this, here, 
here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal size pieces. So now I can go through and put my labels on it. Now instead of a denominator of four, I'm going to have a denominator of eight. And then my one hole is also going to be eight eighths. So this is all our fractions from one from halves and fourths and eighths. We can also use this to help us figure out some equivalent fractions. And equivalent fractions are those fractions that take up the same amount of space. Well, let me give you an example. If I look right here at one half, if I go straight down, I run into two fourths. If I keep going straight down, I run into four eighths. One half, two fourths, and four eighths are all equivalent fractions because they all take up the same amount of space on our number line. So, one half is the same as two fourths, which equals four eighths. I can also look here at one fourth. If I go straight down from one fourth, I run into two eighths. One fourth and two eighths are also equivalent fractions. They take up that same amount of space. Same thing over here with three fourths. Three fourths runs into six eighths. They take up the same amount of space. They're equivalent fractions. I write that over here. So your job is to, on your worksheet, go ahead and take the first three lines, or the first three number lines, and you're going to do, just like we did here, label your halves, your fourths, and your eighths. If you want, you can put your equivalent fractions on there too. So like I would do four eighths right here. Or I would say this is one half. Or I could say, instead of writing that as four eighths, I could say this is one half too. All right? Try it, give yourself a challenge. Tomorrow, we're gonna work with thirds and sixths. So, see you back then, bye.